Hey, Siaya. Hello, friends. Thank you for joining us for a message from tribal government. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take my mask off because we are socially distanced. We want to thank everyone for continuing to wear your masks, social distance, and continuing to wash your hands. We're still doing really good. We have had a couple new cases since July 31st, but those are really no low numbers. So thank you all for doing your part to keep our numbers down. We've had lots of questions about the COVID care applications. So today we just wanted to share some information with you, share the process, how many we've processed, and when you can expect your checks. The process starts with your application coming into the CEO office. Our staff looks at the application, make sure that it's signed, they check the address, and then they check the box that your address is correct, and then they put the date in that your application's received, and then they make a spreadsheet that's sent to finance for finance to process. Once the applications hit finance, they also have their own process that takes a couple days. And once they enter all of the applications, then the direct deposit has to be dated for two days out. So it is a little bit of a process that it can take four or five days to actually get your check ready to be mailed out. So we thank you for your patience. If you haven't sent in your application yet, please go to the Tulalip Tribes website. There's a link for the application. Also, if you haven't applied for the housing assistance, the link is also there so that you can also complete your application there. In the first six days, we've processed 2,007 tribal member applications, which is around 40% of our tribal member population. And we just want to let you know that our staff is working really hard. Checks and direct deposits are being cut every day. And so we thank you for your patience. And I also thank our staff for their hard work getting all of the checks out to everyone. There are a few applications where the addresses don't match. And Wendy will be talking about that process. Hi, everyone. Wendy Freiberg here, COO. And I would like to share with you the address verification process. Uh, for the COVID applications, we are doing an added uh, review where we are looking at your address and verifying it with the enrollment list. Enrollment has the current address on file for each tribal member. And that is the address that is used by membership distribution. And membership distribution is issuing direct deposits and the hard uh, paper copy checks based on that address alone. So if we receive an application and we see that your address is different than the one that enrollment has on file, uh, we're gonna reach out to you. And so some of you may have received phone calls from any of us where we are verifying that address. We're also giving you the opportunity where we can correct that address for you with enrollment. And so we will be asking you, is this the address that you would like on file? Do you have two addresses? that um, this application is current, but also the one in enrollment is current. And that's okay too. We just wanna make sure that everybody is receiving their direct deposit and their checks, and that uh, we have an opportunity to update addresses as, um, as current as possible. I would also like to share with everyone that we want to make sure that you are getting your checks. And if you feel that you're not getting it, that our phones are available, we're available, please reach out to us. Um, we are receiving phone calls daily for people that just have questions. Uh, additionally, if you have a PO box or if you are currently receiving general delivery for your membership distribution, um, that is still okay also. We just want to make sure that we're verifying addresses and that we have the correct one on file. And I would like to say thank you to Rosie. She has been tremendous in uh, this process and assisting us uh, very efficiently and thoroughly to make sure that these address changes occur quickly. So if you have informed us that your address on your application is your current address and that's what you would like listed in enrollment, uh, we will continue um, to reach out as we see those differences and get those changes from you. Many of you are seeing that the direct deposits um, are showing up in your accounts and checks are coming in the mail. And so we wanted to let you know that if you have turned in your application prior to September 17th, that you should be seeing your check soon. If you do not see your check by Friday, please reach out to us. All of us are available by phone and email and we're taking questions. Anytime that you reach out to us, uh, we will reach back to you if, if we're unavailable at the time that you call. We wanna make sure that everybody knows that you're supported and we want to make sure that everybody is getting their check timely. 
and we really anticipate that nobody should be waiting longer than that two week period. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Rochelle Lubbers, your Chief Administrative Officer. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about a change that's happening in tribal government. Currently we have some tribal members who receive direct deposit and some tribal members still receive a paper check. As we move forward through 2020, we are going to be moving to all direct deposit. And I know for some people that is a little frustrating or scary because you don't have a bank account or you're used to getting your paper check, but I want you to know we've been thinking about this and we've come up with an option that should meet the needs of all of our tribal members. Um, what we are going to be doing is a program called Key to Benefits, and it's a loadable card that will be treated just like a debit card. So what will happen is when everyone else receives their direct deposit into their bank account, you will receive your deposit into your key to benefits card. This card is an activated card with a pin number that only you will have. It's safe, secure, just like a bank card. And you will be able to use it in that same way to get cash out of ATMs or to make purchases online or in stores. The process to sign up to Key to Benefits is easy. There is a form online if you look at Tulalip Tribes Finance forms, or you can stop by the administration building and pick up a form. To turn in this form, you can also fax it to the number on the form or drop it off to the finance window on the first floor of the administration building or CSR station number seven, where we will have a finance representative to answer your questions. Each tribal member will have to fill out a form. It's one form per member. For people who are ready to do this now, the forms are available online or for pickup. In addition, you'll want to think about this over the next couple months because by the end of the year, we would like to have every tribal member signed up for direct deposit. There are benefits to both the finance department and tribal members by going to Kita Benefits card. One of those is during severe winter storms when the tribe has to shut down, you will still receive your funding on time through this process. In addition, during the coronavirus, when the tribe had to go on furlough with limited staff, it makes it very challenged to get the tribal payments out on time. By key to benefits, it reduces the number of staff that it takes to do this process, and everyone will be insured to get their payments on time. Another good feature of the Key to Benefits card is you are able to access your balance just like on a debit card through a text service or a phone line. You will need a current tribal ID to process this form. So while you're at the admin building, this would be a good time to update addresses, get a current ID, and sign up for direct deposit. For more information, call the tribal line today and talk to one of our CSR specialists. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you for joining us for a message from tribal government. Dai Chas Tashuta Bitsid will be seeing you.